I am breaking down exactly how I made my first six figures in my business. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching, then definitely stay tuned. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get ready to dive in. I'm Felicia. I'm known to many as a queen of content. I help high achieving men and women to stand in their truth and monetize their message online. And today I'm going to share with you exactly how I did that for myself, for my business and for my brand. One of the things that I'm really passionate about is coaching others um, to believe in their potential to believe in you know what it is that they are even uh, capable of i will tell you before we dive into any tips before we dive into you know any tools or systems or any of that jazz that i utilize the number one thing that i had to do is i had to get my mind together i had to get um you know, my, my mindset, right? I mean, that's the only way that I can say it to believe number one, that I was worthy of what it is that I was trying to achieve. So for me, I, at first focused on making like, you know, my first, uh, 5,000 a month, right? Um, actually let's even take it back before I made 5,000, you know, I wanted to make like a thousand dollars a week. I remember that was my number. Like, man, I was like, if I can only make a thousand dollars a week, like this, that would be great, you know? And for me, initially, I'm talking, this is a, a decade ago now, right? But initially, I couldn't imagine like having money from my business coming in consistently like that. And what I mean by that is, I don't, I think it was just a block, like a, a financial block. I mean, I didn't go up with a silver spoon in my mouth, you know, and just seeing a lot of people around me constantly struggle and not really seeing a lot of people with their own business, I think put a lot of those blocks up. But one of the things that I, you know, really was clear about was that I wanted to actually have a real business. Like I didn't want to be one of those people that, oh, I have a business, I'm doing something, but I really wasn't making money. You know what I'm saying? So I worked really hard initially to make sure that I studied my craft. And that's tip number one is that you have to know your ish, you know? especially now. I mean, we're in a world now where people can get information from the tip of their fingers, et cetera. And you got to know your shit, period. Point blank, period. The end. Goodbye. <laughs> no, but you got to know your stuff, right? And I think a lot of times because we consume information so fast, a lot of people want to put things out there fast. And, and so they don't necessarily want to do all the work. They don't necessarily want to spend all the time. I mean, they just want to like, they want things quick, fast, and in a hurry. And sometimes, you know, that's why coaching can get a bad rep. So I will say, first of all, mindset. First of all, mindset was huge, 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 huge for me. Second of all, you know, making sure that I knew my stuff, like making sure that I could stand behind my brand and my business. Um, and that, that took some time. Like, you know, that took countless hours at night. That took sacrifice. That took me not doing things that I wanted to do in my business and for my brand because I was, you know, I was working in my business. I was working on my business. Um, and, and, you know, doing a lot of things. Um, and then the third thing is sacrifice. I think a lot of people say, oh, I had to sacrifice, da, da, da. but sacrifice is, is necessary. And the reason, that's the only way I can say it. The reason why I say it's necessary is because you cannot have and be it all. Sometimes you're in a season where something has to go to the back burner. Sometimes you're in a season where, you know, you got to go hard. Like you got to, you got to go out, go at this thing. Like your last meal depends on it. And it's a type of momentum that I had when I first started my business. 
I was the girl online that was getting on people's nerves because I would go live every five minutes. I was the person posting 10, 20 times a day. You know what I mean? I was at everybody's conference. I was, you know, doing things for free for people um, to get reviews. Like I was in it. And I'm not saying that how you start is how you finish, but I'm saying that when you first go out that gate, you got to think about this is how I coach my clients. When you first go out that gate, you got to think about yourself as a sprinter. You got to think about yourself like regardless, I'm going to win. Regardless, I'm going to get it. Regardless, it's going to happen. Nothing is going to hold me back. You got to have that mindset that it's like eat or be eaten. (laughs) No, but for real, y'all, you know what I mean? Like you got to go hard to create a sustainable business. You cannot willy-nilly, uh, you know, I'll post over here when I want, I'll do this. So, like, no, you got to go hard, my friend. But guess what? It's only for a season. You know, it's only for a season. I coined the term grindaholic because your girl was up all times of the night grinding it out. I did not sleep. I did not care. I had my coffee. Yo, I still got my coffee. Stop playing with me. I still got my coffee. So I was grinding it out. And I was literally making connections, making connections, you know, doing this, doing that. And that made the difference in my business and for my brand. But I sacrificed a lot. I didn't go out. I wasn't the best girlfriend at the time. You know what I'm saying? I had my core group of friends. Most of my friends were coaches in the industry and we would go on um, doing things, you know, but that was that, like I was in it. So I would say go hard, go hard. Uh, The next tip is to really focus on having one flagship product that you perfect. This is something I wish, looking back, that I'd done differently. Have one product out the gate. I I mean, I I guess I shouldn't say that because I did a lot of one-on-one coaching, but I'm just saying have one product out the gate that you build, you grow, you continue to perfect, and it's like your flagship product. Um, And charge what you're worth. Charge what you're worth. For sure, right? But none of that is possible if you don't have the mindset. The mindset. None of that is possible if you're not committed. None of that is possible if you're not consistent. I always hold up my, I I call these my consistent gang signs, right? Because you got to go hard. Now, here's the thing. I want you to listen to what I'm about to tell you because I know it's going to speak to someone. It does not matter the results you get initially. Let me say that again. It does not matter the results that you get initially. Because a lot of times, can I be real with y'all? A lot of times we are so focused, my friend, on results that We do not put ourselves out there. We hold back. We don't follow through. We don't go hard. Oh, well, I spent all this time making this video and nobody tunes in. Oh, I spent all this money doing this, uh, doing this event and nobody came. I don't care. What did, what did you learn? What did you learn that you could then use the next time you do an event? What did you learn that you can now use the next time you show up and do a video? You see, we only fail when we are looking at it from an eye of someone who thinks they can fail. Because for me, I know I can't fail. I may not make what I think I'm going to make. I may not do as well of whatever it is I'm doing, but I know I'm not, I'm not going to fail because you only fail if you quit. And I damn sure ain't quitting. And you damn sure ain't quitting. So having that mentality It just sets you in beast mode. It it sets you, you know, it ignites you. And I think for me, that is where my passion comes from, is working with individuals that have that type of of power, that have that type of resilience, that have that type of work ethic, because that is what it's going to take if you truly want to create a six-figure or seven-figure brand. Now, 
ultimately, you can create systems, you can work smarter, you can have a team, yada, yada. But I'm talking about initially at the gate, let's get it. Okay, let's get it. So I hope that if nothing else, this video has re-energized you to take the next step to refocus, change your mindset, and to understand that it ain't over. It ain't over. I just did a podcast about that, okay? It ain't over. So when you have that mindset, it's like game over, right? Game over. So if you're interested in learning more about myself, about the Mac Institute, if you want to work with me one-on-one, you need some coaching, you need someone that's going to hold you accountable, you're going to get it done, that's going to allow you to, you know, have your moments, but ultimately coach you to the finish line of your goal, I got you, I got you, right? So definitely click the link Um it, wherever you're watching this, click the link um, in my bio, in the description box, et cetera, um, and you can learn more, all right? So listen, I want to thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand quick, fast, and in a hurry, okay? We cranking them out. I'm giving you guys great quality. Um, so definitely make sure that you subscribe. Tell a friend, right? Tell a friend um, to subscribe to our channel as well and check us, check out, check us out. If I can talk, check us out. All right. So listen with that, that's all I got for today. But make sure um, that you leave me a comment and let me know which uh, message that I just shared spoke to you the most. All right. I love to talk to you guys in the comments. All right. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay recharged.